Hey guys, this is Nikhil and welcome to yet another video of my series on parallel programming in Python. So now, um, in this video, we're going to learn about a concept called pooling between processes um, in multiprocessing using Python. So, um, before I discuss the concept of pooling, let us try to take an example and try to understand um, the problem. Okay, so I have got a function called square, which takes in a, uh, a variable n, an object n, and it returns its square value, right? So now um, I have got a list, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I've got an empty result list. And now for each number in my list is um, squared and appended to my result, right? So I get the result. So everything is fine, right? So right now the situation is something like this. Um, if this is my CPU, then only one of the cores is selected because my process, my main process is running on one of the cores, right? And this complete list is passed to that process in the core, let's say two, and then the square function is applied and I get the output. So this is the current scenario. But now let's say, um, I want to change this particular thing a bit. So by providing this particular list and getting the square values in a consecutive manner is taking a lot of time because if the list is long, then it will take a lot of time. What if I can use other cores, the core one, core two, core three, core four, all of them at the same time by distributing this list between them and then using um, multiprocessing. So in that way, I'll be able to um, get my task done in a much faster manner. So what I mean to do is something like this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, my list. So there'll be some program, there'll be something which will be able to distribute it uh, between uh, various processes in different cores. So let's say one is uh, given to the core one, two is given here, three is given here, four is given here, and the number five is given here. And then each core is running a copy of my process. And in this way, um, we get the output and finally that output is again combined finally into the output list so this is actually this complete concept is called pooling so in pooling you get a task you distribute it between multiple uh, processes in different cores and finally once the task is complete you combine the outputs that is all that is what pooling is all about okay so let us try to see how do we um, implement pooling in python right so we have got this function square. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove this thing because I'm going to do some pooling here. So what to do? All you have to do is you have to make, you have to create a pool. Okay. So let me call it P. P is equal to multiprocessing dot pool. So pool means a pool of processes, a group of a lot of processes. Okay. So P is equal to multiprocessing dot pool. And now, um, what I can do here is that I can do p.map. So a pool has a function called map, which is able to take any function as an input and a list over which that function has to be applied. So here I want to apply the function square over my complete list. So it is very similar to your map function, the inbuilt map function in Python, which takes two arguments, the um, function to apply and the list to which the function has to be applied. And finally, the output of p.map function is um, our intended result. So result equal to p.map square my list. So in this way, we'll be able to do the thing which we need to do. So let us try to see what is the result now. Look at that, 149, 1625. So you might not be totally convinced right now that how is all this thing happening. So just to make the things a bit more clear, let me do um, an import of the OS library and then I'm gonna print, I'm gonna print N and I'm gonna print the process ID, which is implementing um, the square function for that particular number okay so let us see what happens look at that so actually we have um six four three and five so all four cores of my cpu were used for um processing this for doing this particular processing of finding the squares of the complete list so 
the four processes are two triple four three, two triple four four, two triple four five, and two triple four six. So these are the name of the four processes, and most probably all these four processes would have been in different cores so that they can execute um, parallelly. Actually, my computer has only four cores, and that is the reason why um, all the um, first four values were distributed among different processes and for the last one since there was no um, extra core or extra CPU so it so one of the processes got an extra number right so 2446 process got two um, elements to do the processing 3 and 5 so that can be evident from this picture as well like one of the cores will uh, obviously get two values because you cannot distribute it uh, in any other way right so you distributed one two three four and finally the five remaining was given to this process that is what I am depicting here okay so this is the proof that pooling happened and pooling happened in a quite nice manner so this is the most efficient way in which I could have done this particular thing right so one of the things to notice here is that I didn't need to create processes myself I didn't need to specify the target and arguments and all all everything happened in a quite um, encapsulated manner right so what happened was I simply created a pool now that pool is responsible for um, forking new processes and providing them uh, their targets and their arguments so everything has happening behind the screen all I have to do is just create a pool and provide a mapping between a function and a list of inputs and finally um, you will get the um, modified list with that function um, implemented upon all the elements of that list so in this way um, pooling works and I hope the concept is clear pooling is quite a cool way of doing any task which is simply required to um, do some kind of uh, mapping over each element of your given list so in all those cases you can simply do pooling instead of creating a pros uh, different um, diff multiple processes um, in the basic way that we know about multiprocessing so we can just uh, avoid that and we can use pooling and we can go with this way so it is quite a cool way of doing things and I hope the concept of pooling is clear if you um, still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching